we have a very capable set of compute capability within the CTO Visor data center. We have a VMware cluster with a terabyte of RAM connected to an all flash storage array with uh, about 30 terabytes of all flash memory. We can serve up web pages up the wazoo. We have a 10 gigabit connection to the public clouds, hence a 10 gigabit connection to the internet. We can serve up a local client video as fast as their internet connection will provide. Why don't we? For a number of reasons. One, even with that robust 10 gig connection, we can be DDoS. That's not so much compute that can be that it can't be overwhelmed by a security event that we don't have the staff or the equipment or the talent to mitigate. Also, what happens when that customer or content consumer is coming from Japan or Australia or some other major region of the U.S. and they have to wait seconds for that stream to start? It really impacts the content consumer's experience when latency becomes an issue. This is why we have services such as Cloudflare and Cloudfront from Amazon. Cloudflare being a service managed by Cloudflare, the company, and Cloudfront being a product that we'll take a look at from a AWS everyday perspective. Both of these solutions are content distribution networks based off the global reach of each one of these companies. I can put workers or Lambda or EC2 compute out to the edge closest to the user consuming that data with Cloudflare, they're called workers. With CloudFront, it's called uh, EC2 or Lambda. And I can now service each one of these customers, content customers locally with very little latency and I get the added benefit of DDoS protection. If a security event happens across or against my content, I have the protections of a world-class network behind me. So why choose one over the other? Cloudflare, again, extremely capable solution, huge number of pops, points of presence across the world. Cloudfront as well, both give you the ability to run compute or web servers or some type of data analytics off at the edge. I get the DDoS protection from both. You know, it's all about ecosystem. One of the things that you'll see consistently across this AWS Everyday uh, series is when you are dedicated to the AWS control plane, you're consuming a multiple number of the 238 products that they have. While they don't necessarily integrate in the sense that they're vertical solutions like an IoT fleet-wise, they integrate in the sense that they're using the same back-end infrastructure and architecture. I'm using AWS Lambda in one part of my application or another set of applications, I can use it in CloudFront. I'm using EC2 Compute for my back office. I'm using EC2 Compute for my front office. I'm using IAM, the identif identification management system, to control credentials across that entire landscape, AWS, is a one-stop shop. While Cloudflare has plenty of cloud services, they don't have the breadth of the cloud services. They specialize in content distribution networking, compute at the edge, they have a very good uh, storage solution now, object-based storage solution, but they don't have the breadth of uh, AWS from a service perspective. Two very solid services depending on what your needs are from an ecosystem perspective you can't go wrong with either one you have more questions 
you can DM me at CTO Advisor on Twitter. DMs are open. Or you can t contact us via the Contact Us page on thectoadvisor.com. I hope you're enjoying your holidays. Subscribe to the AWS Everyday series in your inbox, awseveryday.com. Talk to you next AWS Everyday.